Joining us now with reaction, Kelly Sadler. She's back. Also, uh, GOP strategist Joseph Pinion is with us. Joe, good to see you. Um, your thoughts there on what you just heard from the sheriff? Look, I think that you know there there's a multitude of, of tragedies here. Um, obviously, we don't want to lose flight, lose a track of what happened to George Floyd. But um, I think it's time for us, uh, if we're going to demand accountability in law enforcement, that we demand account ability um, in our communities, right? Um, and I think that we look at it right now from the standpoint of saying that this man uh, was on the police force for decades, um, survived the beat, um, but could not survive a call to action um, in his own community. And so if you're going to turn the fire um, on the individuals who live there, um, people who have served that community, um, then you have to understand that you have discredited the movement um, in every possible way. And I think it's time that we start having that conversation, um, because violence begets nothing. Um, and if we're truly seeking justice, um, then the actions that people must be taking should, in fact, be just um, and not vigilante justice. Kelly, the video we keep seeing, as hard as it is to watch, that is David Dorn. He was 77 years old in St. Louis, and he was a retired uh, police chief in that area. That's him here, Captain David Dorn. Um, he was doing security for his friend's pawn shop, defending mm -hmm. it against looters. He lost his life. He died on a sidewalk. This is a grandfather. Uh, it's a 10 grandchildren, I believe. Um, it's not getting a lot of attention in the media. Why is that, Kelly? Because it runs counter to their narrative. Um, their narrative is that the police is bad, blue men are bad, um, they're filled with racism, um, and they're out to get you. Uh, and so it runs counter to their narrative, and that's not what you're hearing. You're not hearing about any of these officers and the heroic work that they're doing on the streets of, out in this country. Over a dozen police officers have been shot at uh, during these riots. Uh, that is That is crazy. I mean, you see Police, do you see footage in New York City of cop cars getting vandalized, of them getting thrown over, um, of, of, of people throwing bottles and bricks at these officers? Uh, every day they go out and they put their lives at risk to protect us American citizens. And yes, are there a few bad apples in the bunch? Absolutely. Just like there are a few bad lawyers, there are a few bad politicians, there, you know, in every profession in the world, there are a few bad actors, but that does does not mean that the entire profession is bad. And they've been putting their lives at risk, during, at risk during these riots, and we should be giving them the respect that they deserve, especially uh, because the majority of them are good men and women. Joe, is it possible to have two focuses? Because we, we, we don't want to lose f uh, sight of what happened to George Floyd and maybe perhaps changes that need to hap happen with some of these officers. No doubt there's still three officers that are, that are sleeping in their homes right now that many feel should be charged. But there are other things that are going on that are horrifying, uh, i.e. David Dorn that we just saw. Is it okay to have multiple focuses or can we only see one? David Doran's death highlights um, the unseen and ignored tragedy um, that happens in many black communities every day. Um, hardworking people who go to work every day, hardworking people who serve the community um, every day. Um, and what is the reward for that? Often the reward is death. We talk about homicide being the leading cause of death for black men under the age of 35 in this country. And too often they're killed by people that look the same. Uh, so I think ultimately, uh, Yes, we can talk about the fact um, that too often we have people of color losing their life to law enforcement. We should also be able to talk about the fact of the many good people in law enforcement who risk their lives every day. And we should definitely be able to talk about the scourge of violence, which has been a pestilence um, from urban community to urban community all across this country. Well said. And we'll leave it at that amount of time. Uh, Joseph Penny and Kelly Sadler, thank you. We appreciate it.